Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to get a list of columns with unique constraints in SQL Server database. So think about a scenario where you are working as a SQL Server developer. You need to collect the information for your documentation where you need to have the database name, table name, schema name, column names, and the unique constraint names. And uh, as you know that the unique constraint can be created on single column or we can create the unique constraint on multiple columns. So we have to gather all that information for our documentation. And uh, uh, we need to use some system objects uh, such as the system views or system tables uh, to gather this information. Open SSMS uh, and go to Tech Brothers IT database. Uh, we have tables here and then uh, we have columns on which uh, the unique constraints are created. Uh, we have to write a query and I have prepared that query already. So I'm going to go to techbrothersit.com then go to SQL Server T SQL Tutorial. Uh, and then I will go further down uh, chapter 6. Uh, I have heading uh, for unique constraints. Uh, here on the number 4, uh, how to get a list of the columns with unique constraint in SQL Server database. Uh, click there and uh, you will find a big query. I know that I haven't taught you about the common table expressions yet. Uh, I haven't taught you about, about uh, joins. Uh, as well. So I have not taught you about the stuff function uh, and group by. So there are a lot of things that I need, need to teach you in the next chapters. Uh, but as uh, I'm uh, teaching the subject uh, or teaching uh, uh, this uh, unique constraint topic, uh, I need to have this uh, query somewhere and give it to you so you understand like how to gather that information. Uh, I will explain all those topics uh, in the later chapters. Uh, open the query and paste it here. Now I will explain this query at least to you how it works. So I'm using two tables, sorry system views and here information schema is a schema and the table underscore constraints I alias this one just give another short name so I can use anywhere in my select query and that tells us select t dot table schema so this column from this tab, uh, system view. By putting the alias, uh, it really helps uh, because if you have same column names uh, in uh, multiple tables or the views, uh, you have to write the whole thing uh, if you don't have the alias. Uh, if I would not have the alias, uh, I had to write the table constraint dot table name schema to get this one. Anyways, uh, so we are using the join here. We're using left join. So we're gathering the information. We are saying give me everything uh, from this table and uh, matching records uh, from this table if exist. Uh, and if not exist, it doesn't matter. You give me everything from uh, this view. So that's fine. And then we are joining on different uh, columns uh, for the uh, to find the matching records. And here we have where clause. Uh, but we say that give me only the records of where constraint type is a unique um, from this table view and let's uh, take a look on this view what it return us uh, and let me show you the other one why we needed to join them because uh, the column uh, the sorry the column name was not present in this uh, view. So that's why I had to join with the key column usage view to get this uh, column uh, name. So that's the reason. So let me show you. In the first view, you see that we have a constraint catalog. That's the database. We have schema. We have a constraint name and all that. And uh, this is the constraint type unique. But we do not have any column. We need to get the column names. Uh, and that's why where I use uh, information schema schema dot key column usage so this view does provide me the columns so you see the columns are there but also you see that this is the same constraint have two columns that means we have created a unique constraint on multiple columns for a dbo customer table so let's go ahead and run this one this inner query with common table expression now. So common table expression, think about it, take the records and put into the memory. And uh, that's where for we can further use that record set uh, in our query. Here, if I run this uh, inner query, this is how you can run if uh, you have written common table expressions. Uh, you can run the inner part of the query and uh, ignore this part and uh, the rest of the select. So once you run this uh, select, uh, you will see we have a table name, 
uh, sorry table schema table name and column names uh, and unique constraint uh, and it is type of unique uh, now if you notice that uh, we have customer table and DBO schema there are two columns uh, and uh, we are interested uh, to show the first name comma the last name in the same row so we don't want to create uh, multiple rows uh, for the unique constraint if uh, there, there are multiple columns involved uh, we want to have only in one row but with the comma separated so that's why first I created this uh, temporary result set by using common table expression then I closed it then I use the select query and you see that I select to, uh, table schema table name unique constraint constraint type and here is I use tough function and with XML so I created uh, uh, the XML uh, string uh, and then uh, there was a uh, comma that's how I was uh, kind of uh, separating them and then with the stuff uh, I remove that uh, so you can see that one comma one that's how I, I remove with the blank uh, with no space uh, and then this uh, created the unique constraint so I'm creating a new column that will have the comma separated uh, list of the values from multiple rows uh, so and then I'm grouping by table name and uh, sorry schema name table name unique constraint name and constraint type so that's all we are doing let's run this entire query to run uh, the entire query you cannot run this part see this value is created uh, or set of uh, records uh, is created in common table expressions uh, so once you close the parentheses you cannot run this part uh, you have to run the entire part uh, if you run this one it will say I'm missing uh, this CTE because we are running uh, or getting the values from this uh, CTE so you see that so you have to run the whole thing you don't have to select all the way till here and run your query because we know that we want to run them entire so click anywhere and just execute once you execute you will see now we have two rows before we had three rows and these row each one was the different row like first name and last name was separate rows and here now we are concatenating them in one value and creating a single row from multiple rows so you see that we can create the let's say if we have multiple rows you can always concatenate the values by using for XML path and with the stuff function so this part of the query can be used to concatenate the values so if you have column values list of the column values you want to show them as a comma separated in single row you can do that and uh, now our query is uh, returning as table schema table name unique constraint name constraint type and list of the columns so you are all set you can just copy this entire thing and put into Excel and give to your manager uh, that's uh, all in this uh, part uh, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time uh, but I hope uh, you get familiar with the system views uh, how to uh, use uh, system views to gather the information how to concatenate uh, rows into columns by using for XML path and stuff function together and uh, you also learn how to use common table expressions uh, like where you select or uh, use some uh, select query to create a result set and further uh, you can use that result set uh, uh, as as simple like a table so we created this entire result set in a memory and then uh, we we use that one in this select query so you can see that this one the records that come in from uh, this common table expression and this selector we have written thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video and uh, uh, don't uh, um, <laughs> uh, feel like I, I'm trying to skip the things I want to go in a sequence uh, if I start doing the common table expression group by and all that in this video that's not the way I, I wanted I want uh, to create a list uh, where you can follow step by step so learn it implement it and then uh, further in chapter you will uh, be able to write these all uh, t sequel things uh, by yourself thanks